Hey guys, let's review the three ways to create VLANs. I'm using the Cisco 2960 switch, so let's get started. Typing enable to enter the user exec mode. We type in config t, VLAN, and then choose any number you guys want except one. I will choose 100. Press enter. Now you need to name that VLAN, so I will name it sales we're done exit exit one more time and I have created VLAN 100 second way to create a VLAN is through VLAN database and you type this under user privilege exec mode you guys will get that warning that warning comes from uh, VTP which stands for VLAN trunking protocol you guys have seen it before so it's okay let's create a VLAN now VLAN 200 space name um, I will choose HR for human resources and that's about it I have created VLAN 200 now and I will exit and I'm done and the last way to create a VLAN is through the interface so I will go config wow config T interface Fast Ethernet 015, you guys can choose any port you guys want, any range of ports that you guys want. I will just choose 15 for the sake of this presentation here. Then you go switch port, mode access, then again switch port, access, VLAN 300, and notice that it says that the VLAN does not exist, it's creating it now. Another thing to notice here is that I was not able to name my VLAN. Um, you guys will have to go back to uh, way number one through config T or the uh, VLAN database to name, uh, rename that VLAN. For now, it switch, uh, sw the switch will give it its uh, default name. But we're actually done. Exit exit let's go now and make sure that those VLANs are being created so we type in show VLAN and you guys can see now that VLAN 100 was created named sales 200 was created named human resources and 300 was created and with the default name VLAN 0300 all of them are active and that's about it guys so I hope this helped, I hope this video was helpful and I see you guys in class, have a good